the Boost Read Manifold from Bikeman. Now, one of the main differences you're gonna see with Bikeman compared to everybody else is this actually swept radius right here. And the swept radius is mega important because as the airflow blows through, uh, if you don't have a swept radius there, it's just gonna blow straight through. It's gonna hit the middle reed and it's just gonna flex and open at an angle and, and, and be really hard on the reed life. Where if you have a swept angle on this, it acts like the upper edge of a, of a wing that actually pulls the air around and engages the reeds more, more evenly. When you do that, it's gonna make your reed cage act larger. Uh, so when it acts larger, it's not working as hard. The reeds aren't opening as far to move the same amount of air and they can close quicker. So you end up getting better power, better response, and better reed life. It's a, a ultimate combination. Now on the bottom of the reed block, you're gonna see different ports. It comes with a, a nipple on there that you can run uh, to, uh, for boost or vacuum. Uh, this can be used for a boost gauge, or you can use it to control a blow off valve. Now, if you wanna uh, put a second port in, this is just a standard pipe th thread fitting. Uh, you can get a, a barb fitting at any hardware store and screw into there. Uh, but it comes with the one, and we're gonna have Farmer uh, show you the install of the boost manifold and the new reeds. If you have a 22 or a 23 boost, uh, they have a, a white colored reed that are, are prone to chipping and flaking. Uh, since 23, we've been installing these uh, updated V-Force ones that Polaris is now using on the 24 models.